morning and welcome to the vlog. I'm Amelia and this is my vlog So Amelia where I talk all about making a handmade wardrobe for me and my children. Today I thought I would share a little bit of a day in my life vlog. There'll be some homemaking, some sewing and a few other things I'm sure along the way. We've just been recovering from a weekend of being quite unwell. I was poorly on Sunday my middle son was poorly on Monday, but thus far, since then, everyone else has been okay. But it feels a bit like a sword of Damocles. I'm just waiting for the ring from schools <laughs> to tell me to come and pick them up. Everyone went off to school this morning, very happy, feeling fine. So hopefully I'll have a nice quiet day to get some jobs done. We were away for the long weekend, which was really nice. But now there's a lot to be done around the house. But I did think after a period of caring for myself and others in the house who are poorly, it would be nice to have a little sewing day. So that's the plan. A bit of homemaking, a bit of sewing, a bit of self-care. So you will have seen from the video so far, I do like to wake up early in the morning before my children just to reset myself and get things ready for the day ahead. I always try and pop on a load of laundry and get that done first thing. And the weather is beautiful outside today. So in a moment, I'm going to hang that out and get it outside. So hopefully it will dry in the sunshine. So this week I have thus far been working on a pattern test. So there's been lots of thinking and sewing really slowly and carefully, which has been really nice but I'm ready for a bit of a palette cleanser. And if you saw my last week's video, you'll know that I'm really keen to get some autumn sewing done. And one of the patterns I did share in last week's video was the Tasuti Patterns Munro Turtleneck. Now it's a free pattern and I can't wait to get that sewn up. I think it's gonna be a staple in my mum wardrobe. Just something easy to pop on over jeans to jump on the bike in the morning and get everybody to school and nursery. So that's my plan for today to try and sew up the Munro turtleneck. Now just briefly it's a turtleneck obviously. <laughs> it has a dropped shoulder and it has a nice fitted sleeve and a relaxed fit through the body. Just what you need in this kind of transitional season some of these basics that will layer really well and the fabric I've got actually just arrived a couple of days ago, so I've washed it and it's ready to go. It's probably gonna send the camera crazy, but here it is. It is a blue and white striped cotton jersey. And again, I just wanted something that's gonna be a workhorse in my wardrobe, and I know that I'll get lots of wear out of this. I don't like jersey t-shirts and things that are particularly fitted. I like them to skim more over my shape. So I think the Monroe Turtleneck will be a good pattern for this. Now this jersey has been gifted to me by Minerva in exchange for a blog and it's a beautiful quality cotton jersey. It's got a lovely feel to it, good stretch and recovery. And it's not too light, it's just a really nice weight. So I'll link that in the description box below if you're interested and I'll also pop a link to my Minerva profile where I should have more information about this make over there. So that's the fabric I'm going to use for that. I have printed out the pattern on paper, but I have not yet stuck that together or cut the pattern pieces out. So that's all to do this morning. So like I say, today really is about self-care. I want to rest a little bit, especially after being poorly myself. I want to get the house sorted out after we've all been sick and had some time away. It's a bit of a state. And then after I've done a few of those jobs, I will get on to some sewing. and I just thought I'd share what size I decided to make. So the Munro turtleneck does come up to a double XL, which is a hip of 121 centimeters. So this pattern is in centimeters. So I've had to do some conversion because I work in inches for my body measurement, which is odd. Does anyone else do that? I work in inches for my body measurements, but then meters for when I'm cutting out fabric. So yeah, very strange, especially because I grew up in New Zealand, which is a metric system and yet. So my bust is 89 centimeters, which puts me between an extra small and a small. My waist is 76 centimeters, which puts me between an extra small and a small. But my hips, as usual, are bigger, 104 centimeters, and so that puts me between a small and a medium. But when I looked at the finished garment measurements, I think a size one, which is for extra, extra small, extra small and small, finished with the bottom is 44 inches. So actually I think that will be fine and most of my measurements place me in the small, 
sizing so I think I'll go for the size one so I guess if this does fit a little too closely I could always size up next time for a more roomy boxy fit but we'll just see how we go so the size one is what I've done for now and there are only four pieces which is great you've got the turtleneck piece there's the sleeve piece and then there's obviously the body front and back pieces so I'm gonna start cutting out my fabric now I've got a little bit more tidying to do upstairs but I think I'll do that on the way up to my sewing room in a little bit I think first I'm going to make myself another coffee and then I'm going to cut out my fabric. Okay, so I've got all my pieces cut out and I'm ready to get sewing. It is now almost half past 11, so it's taken me a while to get the house sorted out and just pick things up along the way as I saw them needing to be done. But I'm really glad that things are looking a little bit more put away and sorted out, so that's great. And I am going to start by re-threading the overlocker, everyone's favorite task. It currently has black on it, which eh, I could just about get away with, but I'm tossing up between whether I change it to navy blue or to white, I think. Although I'm holding navy blue, I think I will probably change it to white just because I think that will look better overall. And then I'm going to start sewing it up and we'll see what I can get sewn up before lunch. <laughs> o'clock I'm checking fit here I've put the sleeves on as you see <laughs> I haven't done them up yet but I'm just checking around here to just see what the fit is like and I think it is going to be fine I was a bit worried it would be too tight but as you can see there's plenty of room in there so that's great and I think the sleeves will be fine too they're going to be more fitted which is what the pattern says needs to happen so there's definitely negative ease in those sleeves so that's fine but yes I am loving the stripes I'm going to stop here because it is lunchtime and I need to get the slow cooker on for dinner or we're not gonna have anything to eat tonight so I'm gonna go down and do that now have some lunch myself and then I'm going to come back to this this afternoon and hopefully do some stripe matching so that's gonna be fun but I thought I'd leave that task for after lunch. That's all prepped. Slow cooker's on. I'm gonna chop up some apples for the kids for their snacks after school so that that's all ready when they walk in and they're starving. And then yeah, we'll get back to the sewing. Hopefully I'll get that top finished before the school run, but we'll just see. So I'll see you upstairs in just a moment. So it's inside out but you can see I have sewn up the side seams that took ages I mean I love striped tops but I do not love stripe matching <laughs> but that's fine it's done so the seam is just there so it's pretty good pretty happy with that and the sleeves came together too so they are also stripe matched along the sleeve seam Let's see if I can find it to show you there you go the sleeve seams just there and you can see this the, the stripes are matched across the seam so I'm really really pleased with that I think if you're going to make a stripe top really the, the, the stripes should match so that's done then I have made the turtleneck it's quite high like but I think I'll probably wear it folded over once so that's fine and then I've just pinned I've quartered it so I've pinned the center front center back and then the shoulder seams there are actually notches in the pattern for that which is so helpful I actually wish more knit patterns would do that so much easier than finding it yourself or a lot quicker perhaps which after doing all the stripe matching I appreciate it so I'm just going to pin that and make sure I get the center back at the center back can I tell you the number of times I've put the top on and realized that I've put the seam of the neck band at the front so I'll just check that now before I proceed and then I'll pin that in place and sew that on. I have to say I don't mind sewing in neckbands, I actually quite like 
that part of the process. I shouldn't say that because now I'll mess it up. <laughs> but I do like neck bands. What I don't like is hemming these tiny little wristbands at the end. I mean, they're not tiny. My wrists aren't tiny, but they're pretty small. However, since using Mariflex thread, that has changed the game a lot. Getting those little zigzags at the right tension or threading up my double needle. No, thank you. So I have got the Mariflex thread set up on my sewing machine, but otherwise I've used the overlocker for this entire make, which is really, really nice. So I will put the neckband on with my sewing machine first, just to make sure it's sitting flat and everything's okay before I overlock the edges. Then I need to do the hems, and that's the bit I don't like. Neckband, fine. Hemming, not my favorite. <laughs> It's definitely different from what I normally wear. I've just popped it on with a pair of jeans. Do I like it? Not 100% sure. It's definitely relaxed. It'll be great for a day around the house, doing a school day with the kids, running around at the park. It's a lovely loose fit and the cotton jersey is certainly really, really comfortable. The sleeve's definitely fitted. I'm not sure about all the excess around here. I know that's probably the style of the drop sleeve, but I think next time I might make the size two or three arms so that they are a little bit less fitted as well. But I do like it tucked into jeans and I think it will be a part of my cozy autumn winter wardrobe. So I am pleased I made it. I think I just need to learn how to style it. And like I said, it's just a bit different from what I normally wear, but it's done. I've had a lovely day of sewing. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Do let me know if you enjoyed this style of vlog so that I know to make more of these day in my sewing and homemaking lifestyle videos. So I'm going to sign off here. If you did enjoy, please do subscribe and hit that notification bell and give the video a thumbs up. That would be so, so lovely. And in the meantime, I hope you have a lovely week ahead filled with lots of happy sewing and I shall see you in the next one. Goodbye.